hey guys welcome back to my channel it has been a hot minute i know i know please don't come for me but today is the day the day has finally come my final cycle of chemotherapy oh my god i have been praying for this day for months literally months and it felt like this day was never gonna come like it just it's been such a long journey and i feel like i've kind of failed in terms of you know filming the process and keeping you updated throughout my journey but honestly i understand why cancer patients don't really film it or don't really record it or you know i i get it because it's so it's horrendous it's torturous um the previous videos you've only seen like the highlighted bits you know of me getting the chemo and whatnot what you did not see was me vomiting in my room all over the floor you didn't see that you didn't see me vomiting all over the bathroom floor you didn't see me screaming in pain um you didn't see me you know be dehydrated spike high temperatures you didn't see none of that it's been torture but today is the day it's friday me and my mom are about to head to the hospital for my final ever 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 chemotherapy okay and that's on period because i'm not going through this shit again ever obviously i shared with you that i needed six cycles of chemotherapy over the period of five to six months because i have my cycles once every three weeks so after my third cycle of chemotherapy i had a midway scan so this is where you have a ct scan or a pet scan and you know they want to monitor your cancer cells and my, my cancer cells are here like along my collarbone and armpit um they want to monitor it and see if they're shrinking see if they've gone see if they're getting bigger you know they have to see if the treatment is actually working so i had my scan and good news everything is looking really positive um everything has shrunk and there's there's more or less not really much there so it's really really good news like it's the best outcome we could have ever hoped for um so yeah the chemo is definitely working and um, i don't know i'm just so happy i'm just so over the moon like you know my doctor did tell me from the beginning hodgkin's lymphoma has a very like high prognosis has a very good prognosis and it responds very well to treatment and yeah he was not lying because that was the case but anyway because the results of the scan were so good my doctor suggested that i transition from chemotherapy to radiotherapy um, because he said you know it will shorten your length of your treatment you'll finish your treatment much earlier um you know the radiotherapy will only last for three weeks and um it would just basically it would just make the journey a little bit more light-hearted and not so intense so i was like yep sign me up like anything that will make this journey a little bit better i'm you know i'm more than willing to do so he signed me up for radiotherapy and then a few days later I had a face-to-face -face consultation with the radiotherapist. Now, this was where things turned for the worse. So when I had my face-to-face -face consultation, the radiotherapist, you know, he told me everything that I would have to come into hospital every day for radiotherapy treatment, blah, blah, blah. It would last for a total of three weeks he also told me he was very real with me which i really appreciate he told me all the potential side effects <laughs> guys this doctor basically scared me shitless he scared the shit out of me basically and 
Um, long story short, I decided against having radiotherapy. So the two main side effects that I was concerned about was because of the area where the radiotherapy is targeting, so it's targeting like my armpit, there's a small chance that I could develop breast cancer in the future. So I was like, hold on, so you want me to get this treatment to get rid of my current cancer to potentially get a brand new cancer later on down the line now how does that make any sense like, i don't understand that whatsoever i'm not going through this shit again it's bad enough that i already have sickle cell anemia i am not mark my words i am not getting cancer again so if radiotherapy is even gonna give me a 0.001 percent chance I'm not risking it I'm not risking it for the biscuit because it's not worth it second reason is that there is a potential risk of me developing lymphedema in my arm and I didn't even know what lymphedema was when he told me so he had to explain to me what it was and it's basically uh, when your limbs retain water it's like water retention but you just can't get rid of it basically and I googled pictures of it and it looks horrendous and I, I refuse to walk around London with a fat arm. I'm not, it's just gonna look so odd. Apparently it's very painful as well. No, just no. Like, well, in my opinion, these treatments shouldn't even be offered if they have these major side effects. I, I just don't get it. I'm trying to live a peaceful, stress-free life moving forward. I don't want cancer, I don't want lymphedema, I don't want anything. Yeah, I decided against getting radiotherapy and I decided to continue with my chemotherapy because at the end of the day, I've already experienced the harsh side effects from chemo. Also guys, I don't know if you've noticed, but what's this? <laughs> Excuse me? What, what, what is this on my head? Yes. I was not expecting this so fast. My hair has been growing. Like, I can't believe it. My hair has actually been growing. I am over the moon. Because it looks, it looks good and it's so soft. My hair is like dead straight. And I don't understand why, because obviously I have Afro hair. I'm assuming over time, the more it grows, it's gonna coil and get curlier and tighter. But you know what? My nurse did tell me that sometimes chemotherapy does change the DNA of your hair follicles, which I know sounds really odd, but I'm telling you, my hair's not usually like this. It's so soft and silky and smooth. It's really strange. But yeah, I'm, I'm loving it and I, I can't wait to see what it looks like in a few months time. Like, yeah, I'm excited. Anyway, Enough rambling, let's head to the hospital. So another quick update I thought I would share with you guys is that I finally bought a car. Finally. It's nothing special, it's only a Peugeot, but it is brand new and i ordered it back in october 2023 and it just got delivered around three weeks ago so i'm really happy with it it's it's actually a really nice car nice interior um it's like a crossover um like a mini 4x4 um my mom's kindly driving us to the airport to the airport oh my god see i need a holiday she's driving us to the airport no she's not she's driving us to the hospital um so yeah it's been honestly because i haven't had a car we've had to get ubers to and from the hospital all the time and it's okay when i'm going for chemo but when i get admitted into hospital it's just a really big palaver getting ubers to and from to and from and it's it's expensive like it adds up so yeah no i'm really really grateful for this car because it's gonna make our journeys to the hospital so much easier a lot quicker 
and a lot more affordable and yeah get back my independence and hopefully once this journey is over and I'm cancer free I can go on some road trips around the UK maybe I don't know maybe I'll vlog a few who knows who knows but yeah I'm just really happy about my new 2024 Peugeot Okay guys, so this is the room I will be in today for my chemotherapy. Um, I was, let me show you, I was originally meant to be in this room here. But they said that I can have this private room here. Which is really nice because i get to have some privacy with my mum i was gonna put the bed down wait 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 by the way someone on my video said that i would eventually get black nails and that person was correct because yeah i don't know if you can see it on camera but my nails are now fully black which is really annoying <clears throat> okay just trying to make myself comfortable whilst i wait for my nurse yeah it's 10 30 a.m we've just arrived and we're just kind of not doing anything just waiting around i bought no thanks i bought my ipad to keep me entertained i've been i've been obsessed with playing like games on my ipad this is really good when you're having chemotherapy because it passes it helps to pass the time i've got my cancer book or well, my cancer treatment book and i think the nurse yeah the nurse just like records everything in your book every time you come for treatment and then I have my portable fan because the hot flashes are real when you're having chemotherapy. So this is very important. Um, I have I have deep heat because I don't know, I've been suffering with a lot of upper back pain. And it's not because of my cancer or the chemotherapy. It's I don't know what it is. I just have a very weak back and I've always suffered with back problems um and then i have i have my cough i have to cover up my i have my cough uh which is for when they take your blood pressure they yeah they give you like a disposable cough now because of covid and i have my airpods which say gold xau which is funny because i don't trade gold anymore and that's it really Where's the and my oh i've dirty that my apple pencil because you can't use your ipad you can't use your ipad without your apple pencil these go hand in hand and that's it and i just always bring my long shot bag i've had this bag for like over 10 years but it's a very very good hospital bag so yeah i'm having my pre-meds which is the pyroton the antihistamines and then i'll be having the retoximab which 
as my nurse said, breaks up um, the lymphoma, which I didn't actually know that. I didn't know that's how it worked. It's very interesting. Um, yeah, and then the chemotherapy starts later. So there's always two halves of the day. So the first half is always the pre-meds, the uh, pyroton, the rituximab, and then usually I sleep and take a nap during the first half. And then the second half of the day is the actual chemotherapy, which kills the cancer cells, um, which for me is the RCVP. So my mom just went to the canteen downstairs to buy me some lunch. It, I'm not gonna lie, it doesn't look that appetizing. I've got fish and chips. Some of the batter has come off the fish, but you know, I've got my little tartar sauce, my lemon. Still looks good enough, it's fine. And um, you know, I haven't eaten breakfast today, so I'm really, really hungry. And also you shouldn't really get all these medications and drugs on an empty stomach. So I really need to eat. So guys, as you can see, I am having my final ever bag of chemotherapy. You can't see it because the camera is cutting it out of the shop, but I can assure you it's there. I'm having my final ever bag. It's all good. I'm happy, I'm excited, I'm feeling positive for the future. And um, yeah, I feel like, you know, I can only give my perspective as a patient, a cancer patient, but cancer or any health condition, it really affects the family members too. So that being said, you know, mum, how did it, how do you feel about it? That is my final cycle. Well, I'm very, very happy and glad that it's finished. Main thing is that you're well. It hasn't been easy coming here every couple of weeks and then coming here every couple of weeks again for a transfusion. It's been very difficult. I've had to shuffle around all my shifts at work and my managers have been very helpful towards that. So shout out to my good manager in Hito, he's been very helpful towards me. And I'm just glad that she's had the strength and the knowledge to go through this because it hasn't been easy for her. She's been very, very sick in the last couple of um, chemotherapies. It's made her very ill in which she's had to come into hospital and had various admissions because of it. Yeah. To be honest, the last couple of chemos have been worse than the first one, so it's just the after effects of having the second load of treatment, mm -hmm. which has been very harsh. I'd like to send a shout out to all the people on YouTube and TikTok who are going through various types of cancer treatments. It's helped my daughter tremendously to watch you all and be inspired by you all. So thank you for that. Thank you. Yeah, it, it has. I've been watching so many cancer patients on TikTok. There's not many on YouTube, but there's a lot on TikTok and it's, it's helped me a lot through my journey. So I'm hoping these videos will help someone, like, um, so you can know roughly what to expect. But to be honest, one thing I've learned over the past six months is that cancer is so unique to each individual. Everyone will have a different story. So like for me, for example, I had my surgery first back in December and then I started my chemotherapy afterwards. I know people that have their chemotherapy first and then have their surgery afterwards. Honestly, everything's so unique. Like for example, the, the Duchess of Cambridge, she has cancer, but yet she has a full head of hair because not all chemotherapy causes hair loss. I just unfortunately happen to have the one that does cause hair loss. Um, so yeah, everyone's journey is so unique. It's so different. Um, and honestly, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I'm really lucky that I have Hodgkin's lymphoma. And I know that sounds weird. I know you're thinking, oh my God, how can you say you're lucky that you have cancer? I'm not lucky that I have cancer, but I'm lucky that I have this type of cancer because 
it could be so much worse like for example non-hodgkin's lymphoma is extremely aggressive my nurse was telling me and it has a very low prognosis um you know so i really did get a good type of cancer and hodgkin's hodgkin's has a very high success rate so and it's really and it's responded to my chemotherapy really really well i can't even say like oh i'm so excited to never see this hospital again for me that's not the case because i i will literally be here next week <laughs> it feels like i'm permanently stuck at hammersmith hospital um yeah so cancer or no cancer i'm still here all the time so that's a wrap guys we are officially finished with my cancer journey that was my final ever chemotherapy cycle i'm done it's over the thing done yeah so i just wanted to thank each and every one of you who have taken the time to comment on my videos this year wishing me the best um sharing your experiences with me because it really helped me out as well and yeah it's been a rough ride a long strenuous journey and the thing is even though i'm done i'm not really done because now i have to wait for the side effects i'm gonna get really sick i'm probably gonna be admitted into hospital this weekend but that's fine we expect it and it's just a part of the process Ooh, let me turn on the it's, it's noisy um so yeah i'm just gonna end the vlog here and say thank you and say that i am over the moon that i'm finished the chemo is done so yeah thanks for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye guys